Hello, we are Ren and Ian, and we are the proud parents of two daughters, both of whom have entered our family through adoption. Our mission is to help people understand what adoption is, and in some cases, change people's mindsets about the traditional notions of adoption. Adoption offers the opportunity to defend life from conception to birth, and beyond. First, we're going to start with a message for people considering abortion. If you are considering abortion, first of all, please know that you are much loved. And right now, you have the ability to give the gift of life. Please take time to consider adoption as the other option. There are many organizations that will support you and will happily walk with you during and after your pregnancy, no matter your age, race, or background. You have the opportunity to give love to a family struggling with the cross of infertility. This is your superpower. If you find yourself in an unwanted pregnancy, adoption can be a win-win scenario. The birth mother can give life to the child she's carrying and the adoptive family receiving the new member to their family. Please know that you are not alone, and adoption, it's not surrendering a child, but rather making a plan for their future. You have it in you to give life. It's completely natural to create life. Why adoption is better than abortion? Well, giving a child in your womb a chance in this world is probably going to be the greatest gift you could ever give to that child that you are carrying. It will also be the greatest gift you could ever provide for a couple or an individual seeking to have a family with children. Now we have a message for people looking to grow their families. The vocation of marriage calls us to build the domestic family by bringing up children so as to bring them up in the faith. We are appealing to you to consider adoption to create and grow your family. This is our role. There are two means to building your family. One, through conception and birth with your spouse, or two, through adoption. Please consider adoption when discerning about growing your family. There are children waiting for a forever family in our province right here in BC. You can begin by speaking with adoptive families and inquiring with the Ministry of Children and Families. You can also look into independent agent agencies all over the province. Your child does not have to have your DNA. The love you will experience is so much greater than you would have ever imagined. Be not afraid to make the first steps and trust the process. All families face challenges and have difficulties. The making of the tapestry can be complicated, but the product is so worth the effort. Allow for divine intervention to design your family and you will be awarded in many folds. And so for those discerning adoption, no matter what the life of the child that you choose to adopt will change as a result of your decision. It is a yes, similar to the yes that a woman says when discovering that she is pregnant. One yes determines that the life will persist, God willing, until birth. The other yes, the adoption yes, is similar because it is a decision to accept or claim the child as your family. Quite often, scripture has referenced adoption, in particular, that we are adopted sons and daughters of God. We may not have a direct DNA lineage to the Father the way perhaps Jesus does, but we are nonetheless his children, his family. Adoption to or sorry, adoption on earth to an earthly child is no less the decision God makes as he accepts us into 
his family at baptism. We can partake in this holy decision to say yes and continue our vocation to build the family of God. In our family, adoption has changed our life so much. And both of our adoptions were very different. But we trusted God and we have never looked back. It's been an amazing experience and we only want to share that with you. So to end our presentation, we would like to wrap up in, in a prayer, especially today as we film this is Mother's Day. And so we think of all mothers and birth mothers um, and God mothers and aunts and um, all kinds of mothers out there. And we want to say this special prayer thinking of you. Name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we recently celebrated Mother's Day, let us pray in thanksgiving for the gift of all mothers. We also specifically remember mothers experiencing difficult pregnancies. And we pray that they may find support and encouragement in choosing life for their children. And we ask this in our Lord's name.